Hello and welcome back to another episode of A Cozy Christmas Podcast. I'm your host, Art, and we are just about a month away from graduations. We're about two months away from Christmas in July, four months away from the Burr months, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eight months away from Christmas, a little less than eight months. And we got through what is possibly the worst months of the year. There's nothing but fun coming. With uh, with just one small stop at Crimea River Town, where I will be weeping unabashedly as my oldest son graduates from high school. Today's episode is a very special one. We have back with us visiting all the way from the East Coast, Bill from the thevillagecollector.com. He's your man to talk to if you have any questions about collecting villages, what are the best kind, where to find them, how to get them how to decorate with them. He has got answers for your questions and I want and I really encourage you to check out his website. He's put together uh, quite a fun website there. I found out in the in the course of the interview that uh, the anniversary for the website is May 20th. That's this week. Uh, that's going to be his fourth year anniversary. Here's what I want you folks to do. I want you to go to his website, reach out to him some way. I know he's not on social medias. But you can get out. You can reach out to him on his website, thevillagecollector.com, and just send him a little message, wishing him a happy anniversary for his website. Tell him Art from Cozy Christmas Podcast sent you. Let's flood his inbox with anniversary greetings. Um, if you if you happen to hear this before May twentieth, please do that. Uh, you can go ahead and do that if you're listening after May twentieth. That's all right. I'm sure he'd love to hear from you. Bill is such a great guy, just generous with his time and using his talents to bring Christmas cheer to the internet over on his website. Looks like it's just about time for Bill to stop by and we're going to sit down to have a chat about Christmas villages and all the fun that comes with collecting. Uh, Welcome again to the Cozy Christmas Podcast. I have back on a, another returning guest, we have uh, Bill from thevillagecollector.com, and uh, he was so gracious enough to stop by, and we're going to talk some more about uh, Christmas villages and and all things Christmas. So, Bill, welcome back. Hey, thanks, Art. It's good to be here. Um, I really like your podcast. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. I was going to say that you were um, our first returning guest, but you're actually our second returning guest. Uh, <laughs> I, I, someone else just beat you to it. So, <laughs> But if you recall, we had him back on in... We had him on back in November, and we were talking with him and some other folks from the MyMerryChristmas.com uh, oh, sure. website. Jeff, yeah. yeah, yeah, and uh, that's that's actually turned out to be one of our most downloaded episodes, uh, cool. and so that was a lot of fun. And I'm happy to have you back on, uh, not just because I'm hoping for some uh, more download numbers here. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's how um, we first hooked up is through the the. My Merry Christmas. Um, mm-hmm. That's a it's a great great site. I really have a lot of fun on there, and the, especially in the forums. That's yeah, uh, that's where I use the the most on on that side is the forums. Uh, so that's yeah. that's where we're at. Jeff does a great job over there. He does. He does. Bill, let's let's catch up with you since uh, you were on last in November. How how was your Christmas and and how did things how have things been going for you? Actually, we're we're wicked proud. It's it's been really awesome. We've had. Well, a lot of fun, obviously. I mean, still do this for fun. Mm. Um, but we were in the middle of the uh, Hall of Fame, uh, the Village Video Hall of Fame uh, voting, and and that went awesome. We had thousands of people vote and uh, made for a really interesting uh, uh, end of the year. Um, we have those still on the site, and the the ones who were inducted into the Hall of Fame, they're on the Hall of Fame page on the site. Some great videos and. We've now started. Uh, uh, actually, uh, last uh, last month we started back up with this season towards the Hall of Fame. So that I'm looking forward to that being a, another good one. But outside of that, things have been going really, really well. Uh, so yeah, about that that Hall of Fame. How how do people uh, get you videos, or do you just find them, or is it a combination? A little bit of everything. Uh, more and more, I'm getting. Uh, emails and links through the website with uh, check out my video. Now, now that we've got a little bit of a history, people are familiar with it and uh, we're getting, we're getting a lot of people like that, or we're also getting um, 
uh, leads from people. Hey, I just saw this video. Check this out or, or that type of thing. Mm-hmm. And then um, I'm a sucker for a Christmas video. So I'm on YouTube all the time looking <laughs> at them too. So uh, it comes from all over, all different sources everywhere. So Is it in January when you do the, the voting? Yes. Well, it, it went for a couple of months actually. So, but yeah, okay. it was, yeah. Do people vote on those videos or? Yes, we we, ha- we actually have a voting booth on, on the site. You click on the booth and it goes into the ballot and everything. And they uh, this past uh, time, they got to choose their three favorite videos. Uh, so, you know, if they were, I don't know, I like this one, I like that one. They take the three favorite videos and they put them on the ballot and uh, click send. And it, it just like uh, regular voting for whatever. Um, mm-hmm. And it comes here and then I... I uh, tally them all by hand. There's no no chance for different differences of opinions here or there. I count every one and make sure there's no duplicates and things like that. Even though there's there's no prize money or anything, this is people who just really love their village and want to share it. It's really really cool. So yeah, you get you get bragging rights then is is what you get. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So uh, yeah, that's that sounds fun. Uh, I. I've seen some of the videos and, man, there are people who just are so talented, so talented. Was scary, you know, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's, you know, I have to look twice. Is that real? <laughs> is that? The nice thing too is um, we get them from around the world now. I mean, there, hmm. there, there, I forget how many countries were represented uh, this past year, but uh, it was a, a ton of them. And uh, some of the winners are from foreign countries. And I try to put that, Anything that I have an idea on where it's from, I put that on there so people can see. I don't keep any records. There's no registration. So I don't know where every one of them is from unless they tell me. Mm-hmm. Um, but to see how the villages are set up in different countries and uh, what type of buildings are used in different areas, there's a lot of similarities, but there's a lot of differences too. And it's real interesting. I, I really enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's let's say... Um... Somebody really wants to go to town, no pun yeah. intended. Uh, and uh, but maybe their struggle is making it look good. Wh- where I, I mean, besides your website, I think would be a great place to go to to get tips and stuff. But uh, right. are, are there? Uh, I guess I should say, are, are there tips and tricks on your website, or where can people go to get ideas on how to decorate? Yeah. Um, well, the tagline for our website is inspiration information and fun. Those are three things that I've got a lot of emails that people have been, Oh, I saw that. And I like this. I'll put that in my village. So there, there is a lot of that there by just looking at other videos, but um, there are also companies that do uh, make accessories and put videos out on how to do this. Uh, uh, Woodland scenics is, is one. They do a lot of stuff for the railroad uh, fans, the mm-hmm. model railroading fans. But that scenery that's on the model railroads works for us as just as well in our villaging. Um, and they have some great uh, villages on their site. Um, and to, to find their site, instead of giving all kinds of numbers, so people are going to do homework right now, but, um, <laughs> on, on our website, we have a, a really great uh, uh, links page. It's, uh, it's got a lot of stuff on there. And the links page is unique that we're not sponsored they don't pay to be there. Um, um, everything is just uh, if if we think it's worth putting on there and, and people uh, say, hey, check this site out or check that site out, we go there, we'll, we'll add it at no charge or whatever to the link site. So the links are really a good resource. And there are a lot of stuff, on, a lot of companies on there that provide stuff for, for how to do it. And of course, mm-hmm. there's always YouTube and all those others for, for how to do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's basically how I learned podcasting is uh oh, I, yeah. I reached out to a couple of podcasters i liked and and liked their sound and everything and so i said yeah. how, how did you learn and th- and they sent me a bunch of youtube videos and said watch these this is what we did <laughs> uh yeah we have yeah. um we have some great contributors to the site um uh there's three guys that that just contribute so much to the website and there's a lot of information on their stuff um uh, number one is David Spears. Um, you might be familiar with him through through a lot of different sources, but he writes a, a column just so you know, and that's on the website as well. He's got his own page. 
Um, Larry Treadwell, um, who does two villi main villages every year and has stories to go with it. And boy, there's so much information on that one. That's really good. He has a page also. And our newest uh, contributor is Jim Peters. He's got his own page now. And we actually, I was actually introduced to him through the village videos. I was so impressed with the villages, the videos that he did that uh, mm -hmm. we started connecting that way. And he's uh, uh, consented to uh, to do a column for us. So they add a lot, and there's a lot of information for people just starting or have been in it for years. Uh, and that it's mm -hmm. worthwhile checking their stuff out. So what are uh, what are your plans for the website for this summer? Yeah, um, we've been uh, tweaking it a little bit and, and readjusting this and that. We're basically, we've been doing fairly well with popularity. Um, and we're, we're trying to get ready. This is obviously a slow season. Um, there are a lot of people that go Christmas year round, but the bulk of it, is, as you well know, comes in the, the latter quarter of the year as people start getting Christmas ideas in their head. So we're trying to tweak and get stuff ready. Um, the one piece we're still missing that I haven't been able to find yet is uh, someone to to do a column for us on uh, uh, village railroads. Mm. So if, if any of your listeners uh, um, are interested in in model railroading for villages and would like to send a, a, a couple of comments, just to have them contact me through the website. But that's uh, outside of that, we're real happy the way things are going and tweak this stuff up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I, I know we talked about this last time, but uh, I love the model railroad, and yeah, uh, and and my kids have, my dad did, and they're, you know, I, it's I don't have the room or space or talent for it, but I love to see people put together something really, absolutely, really fantastic. It, yeah, <laughs> I think the, the the trains add a lot to a village. They not only add motion and everything, but they, they add storylines. Yeah. You know, when the train is coming. And what's better for a village than a storyline? You, you know, something to go with it. Um, when I was uh, or still doing every now and then, uh, writing a little thing on uh, uh, buildings in my village. I'll take uh, the building and tell what it is, of course, and, but then try and put a little story with it because a story is what makes the village come alive. And um, yeah. the trains do that exponentially. Yeah. Yeah, when I would, especially when my kids were younger, uh, and I would have a little village set up or something, and and I, and I had told you, you know, I'd gotten a lot of stuff from my my grandparents, and one of the things I got was a little figurine of a cow. So it it came kind of a game with my kids. I would put the cow in different places, and they would try to find where he was. And so we started calling him the naughty cow because sometimes he'd be in the church or. Sometimes he'd be <laughs> hanging out by the outhouse or something. Or <laughs> like a where's Waldo, except for yeah. where's Bessie. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was fun. And uh, they always, they always got a kick out of where I'd hide them. So <laughs> well, yeah. that, that's the thing that makes a lot of, a lot of displays in the villages. It's something to draw you in. It's part of right. the story. And I love that. That's what I, I always call the, the videos, the, the essence of villaging. I mean, um, some of them are, um, I would call maybe not a quality video work or the only two or three buildings. Or they're not always the big, biggest displays, whatever, but you can tell when someone's having fun with their village and when they spend the time to an effort to do something and then take the time and effort to video it and then try and post it to share it, you know, they like what they're doing. And that's the fun that I like to watch and share. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I like, you know, I love stories and I love, it's like you're saying, the people who try to tell a story through the, the village, you know, I want to, if I put figures somewhere, I want them to be doing something or telling a part of the story. Sure. And for, for those of you who are big in Christmas uh, villages, uh, you know, videotape, uh, record your, your village and send them Bill's way. He, he wants them for his website. <laughs> yeah. I want to share them with everybody. That's the, yeah. the fun of it. Yeah. What are, what are some popular trends in village uh, Christmas villages right now? Um, I can only give you my opinions. Okay. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> but, what I have uh, you here for. <laughs> I, I don't have an inside look into what's happening in the different companies, whatever, but in my opinion, anyway, uh, I, I think that, 
collecting is dying down as far as the way it used to be, where you try and collect everything in the village. There's just too much now for anybody to afford or to have space to put it all out. So the displays are getting smaller. The collections might be getting bigger. Someone sees something they like, but you don't have to put out everything you have every time you set up a display. So vignettes are uh, the, the most popular thing I see right now. Um, anywhere from uh, two, three, four or five buildings, uh, like on a hutch or on a table or a shelf or something, up to, I don't know, maybe a dozen buildings on a bigger display, but you don't have to put out everything that you have. And that shrinking down means that uh, people are not buying as many buildings to fill what they need. Um, and therefore, I see the companies like, well, there's dozens of companies that make the buildings, but the two main ones really are Department 56 and Lemax. And I see them changing more from a collectible to a commodity. Um, they're still doing things for collectors, but it's, it's dying down a lot. Most of the clubs that I see, they've been around for a long time. And it, there's not many new clubs starting up. There's, there's a few, but um, the ones that I'm familiar with have been around for a long time and they're dwindling as the, uh, the older of us uh, kind of have a tendency to disappear after a hundred years, you know, so, <laughs> yeah. um, and not much new coming in as far as uh, membership, but um, it's still fun. And I think it's the best way to village is to get people who have a common passion. I love the clubs, mm -hmm. um, but it is definitely changing away from that. Um, when I talk to people like um, when I get a video, and decide to use it in the, the village video, I'll email them or put something on their YouTube site or whatever saying that your video has been selected to, to be in the video of the month or whatever. And a lot of them uh, write back saying they never knew any of this existed. They didn't know there were clubs. They didn't know that the word just is not out there to the extent they're kind of uh, having uh, preaching to the choir and not extending out, outreach, I guess. Mm -hmm. But that's one of the things that I'm trying to do with our site is to say, hey, look, if you like villaging, look what's here. I mean, we call it a gathering place. Um, there's nothing for sale. It's kid friendly. So the parents don't have to worry about whether the kid's looking at this or that or whatever. Yeah. Um, so you just come and find something to do. And that's that's it. Yeah, and, and there's plenty to do there. If if you're not careful, you could spend hours on there. <laughs> yeah, in fact, I was checking uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, we got well well over a hundred hours worth of stuff on this to, to to check out and stuff. Just added that uh, well updated. We've had it for a while, but we have a page called Fun Stuff, mm -hmm. and every month I update that with, and I just put up this stuff for May. Um, there's games for kids, coloring pages, uh, cartoons. That, uh, I'll guarantee you somebody will find at least one laugh out of that page and look at the cartoons, no matter what your age is. To, mm. um, but it's just something to just keep things interesting and fun. There's always something new on the site, always. Yes. Yeah, and that's, um, you know, one thing, uh, uh, folks, I'd encourage you to go and check out and keep checking it out because uh, you do. You, you, you really keep stuff fresh there and, and keep things moving. It's a very... It's a very active website, so thanks. We try uh, hard for that. We really. Oh yeah, do. yeah, definitely. And it's, it's like every time I stop by, it's like, oh, there's something new here. This is yeah. good. I'll give um, you a little hint on that. If you go to the breaking news page, up at the top of that, I have whatever is going new on the site with links to it. So it'll say like the latest things since. Well, I just changed that, so now it's since May first. Mm -hmm. Things that have changed since May first. So if you go on there regularly, just go to the breaking news. Um, there'll be a link to the page that's that's new or whatever, and, and you can go that way, or you can just browse through the site. You know, she said there's a lot there. Yeah, find find what you stumble on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, on the, now, last time you you mentioned um, that you were going to be hosting or, or creating this uh, Village Fest 2022. Yes. Um, how, how are things going with that? Is, is that still on the, on the um, books? They're, they're going pretty good. Um, things are evolving and changing. It's changed a lot since the first concept. Um, there's, there's not much I can get into right now because uh, um, I don't want to give away some of the ideas. Everybody's trying to do uh, virtual meetings for this and, and, and whatnot. It's, all I can say is going to be totally different than anything that's been out there so far. So it's taken a bit. 
Um, I kind of guess right on 2022 being the end of the virus. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep. That's going on a lot longer than we all hoped. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's still in the works. It's, it's uh, coming along fine. And uh, all I can say is uh, may, maybe in the next time I'll have more information. Just stay tuned. <laughs> okay. Stay tuned. All right. And uh, that information will be on your website, I'm sure. So yes, yes, uh, it will. I, I'm really intrigued by the, that idea. So I, I hope everything comes together. I do too. Uh, for you, so. It's tough with no budget to come up with this well, stuff. But that, yeah, that makes yeah. It a challenge, and uh, I love the the creative part of that. Yeah. Well, hey, you're 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 preaching to the choir again here. Yeah. <laughs> I got a, a budget of zero. Yes. <laughs> so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, awesome. Awesome. Well, I I, I like to um, also talk a little bit about Christmas and and all the the fun that we have with that and. Um, I know you shared a memory last time you were uh, on here. How about um, some of the traditions maybe that, that you and your family enjoy doing? Um, we love to put a tree up um, and that's really changed a lot. Um, when when um, we built the house that, that I'm in now, um, we designed the living room for Christmas. Um, we've, we've got uh, tall ceilings, We've got a huge window in the front, uh, put extra outlets underneath that window for, to plug the, all the stuff on the tree. And for years, we had a, a 10 to 12 foot tree there. Um, and we added, we like to add, my wife and I, a um, hundred lights for every year we were married. Um, and we've now been married over 50 years. So it's a, uh, it, with now, now with a smaller tree, uh, I can't get on the ladders anymore. Yeah. Um, but we've gone to fiber optics because there's thousands of lights on the fiber optics. <laughs> can't do those anymore. But we had uh, uh, well over, uh, well, past the 30 year mark, we were still adding 100 lights a year. And another tradition we had is we always kept um, a box of ornaments mm -hmm. um, aside. And anybody that, visited during during that time it was up when they came in everybody got to pick an ornament and add the ornament to the tree so that all our friends and everything had contributed to decorating a tree um, my parents did that and i picked up from them years and years ago and um that's always fun and um hmm. to go from there um just standard things though you know uh, get together christmas family and friends and stuff yeah yeah i, I love that idea of uh, the the Christmas light idea uh, about a hundred lights for every year you've been married. That's, that's really, that's sweet. <laughs> uh, I, I, th th yeah. And that's going to make your tree really shine <laughs> the longer you're married. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it absolutely did. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we had, uh, we've, since I've been a little, little kid, Christmas has always been just huge for me and we just tried our best to make a special every year. Yeah, we we uh, picked up some traditions from our parents that we continue on. You know, we create our own, um, and uh, I and I, I don't know. I tell the story all the time. Maybe I, I mentioned it last time, but uh, we like to pick up ornaments from different places we go on vacation. Sure. Um, yeah. And so our our tree becomes like a scrapbook almost, and yeah, uh, that it's it's really a lot of fun uh, to yeah. do that. Yeah. Uh, now, do you have uh, do you have any favorite Christmas movies at all? Sure, um, pretty much all of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, um, I, I, the, my two favorite would be uh, Christmas Vacation and mm -hmm. The Christmas Story, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, with the, um, but uh, outside of that, uh, Christmas Dickens stuff, uh, Christmas Carol, with sixty five different versions of it, or whatever there is out there, um, they're yeah. all really good. Um, I was actually surprised this past Christmas, um, the, the Disney one with Jim Carrey in it, that's this part animated. Um, I, I looked at it originally and it was okay, but I got the 3d version. I, I have a 3d television, so it was pretty cool. Um, when I saw the 3d version of it, it just changed that movie for me quite a bit. So that's one of my favorites right now. Um, but there's a lot of versions. On, we have a page on the website just called Christmas. Mm -hmm. And one of the links on that page is the 1910 version, the original version of, uh, of um, this, the story, um, A Christmas Carol. And 
I'll guarantee most people have not seen that version. And that's it's a, an old silent movie, you know, but yeah. it is really worth checking out. It's fun. Oh, man, I gotta, I'm going to go check that out then. <laughs> yeah. Although maybe yeah. I have seen that. Uh, maybe I did see that there. Well, I'm going to check it out. And uh, I might have to talk about that one. That's 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 fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you uh, go, as I said, to the um, to the Christmas page, it's uh, down near the bottom. And uh, yeah, it's a 1910 version of the, the it's the original movie of A Christmas Carol. Hmm. I just checked to make sure I had the date right. I didn't want to make her <laughs> think of that right. Yeah, 1910. Yeah. It's one of the first movies. I mean, it's, uh, wow. It's, yeah. it's just awesome. Real history. That I mean, that's one of my favorite movies. Um, I mean, any version, it's going to have something in it I probably like. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Now, I you know, I saw that Jim Carrey version, uh, I think when it first came out. I didn't see it in 3D. And I mean, I liked it. You know what the parts I didn't like was the parts they were filming because it was in 3D. Uh, but yeah, now, now yeah. I'm now I'm interested in trying to see it in a, in the maybe the way it was meant to be seen. <laughs> uh, but I, I do like his performance as Scrooge. I thought that was that was pretty well done. But uh, what are your uh, I guess uh, start wrapping things up here? But what are your your hopes and and thoughts for? For this coming Christmas time, uh, you know, we're recording this in May, so we still have a, a long way to go. But, uh, you know, looking ahead, what are what are your what are you hoping to see around Christmas time this year? I, I really don't know. And, and that uh, sorry to give you an answer like nope, that, but that's, that's part of the fun of, of the Christmas. What's going to happen? Who knows what's going to be? And and it's the unexpected that makes for the best memories. I think when you when you try hard to make a memory, it, never quite comes out the way you, you envision it, but it's the unexpected things that, that happen. Some of the basics, uh, I'm hoping that we're going to have a huge turnout for our Hall of Fame and we, we get more votes than we've ever had. Um, things for the website like that. But um, I'm, you know, I'm almost 80 now and um, my wife's, uh, I won't give her age, but uh, we're both not spring chickens. I'll put it that way. Okay. Um, so the fact that we're going to be here is going to be a help. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but we're just um, looking each year. Um, I try to find something to make Christmas special, something different, a theme or something, or just something, some, yeah. some kind of a thing to say, oh, I remember that year. That was the year we did blank, blank, blank. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and that has a tendency to crop up as an idea as the, the season goes along and manifests itself into something that we wind up doing, not thinking about. And as I said, it's the unknown. So um, outside of the fact that we're hoping that the website is going good and all that, and we're both here to enjoy it and, and whatnot. Um, and the family together. Um, um, I, ha I have a niece that's fighting COVID right now and she's uh, um, fortunately looks like things were on the, on the way up, but, she came down with it like a week before she was due to get her shots. So that was pretty sad. So that's kind of hanging over. So if everything keeps going, okay, have having her around for the Christmas will be a big part of everything. So um, it's just whatever happens uh, is going to happen. And uh, that's the fun of Christmas to me, just to get into yeah. it. Yeah. Those Christmas surprises are always, uh, always fun. Um, now, do you know, off the top of your head, what's the largest turnout vote for, for the Hall of Fame? Okay, the largest single video will receive 2,244 votes. That was the, the leading video last year. Wow. But we had, uh, we had way over 5,000 votes last year. Um, and that was quite a bit more than, than the past. Yeah. Um, so, so so that's our yeah. that's our goal for you this year. We're gonna see if we can break that record. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm actually hoping we can do close to ten thousand votes this year. Um, that right. that would be uh, just just truly fun. Date coming up uh, in the meantime, uh, May twentieth is our fourth anniversary. So okay, I'm not, you know, with no budget, I'd, I'd love to just get something for everybody. But uh, 
for the thousands of people that are here, there's no way. So sure. but we're going to party here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. May, May 20th is, is the anniversary. May 20th, our fourth anniversary. Yeah. Awesome. That's, that's actually my wedding anniversary. So oh, uh, cool. So great things happen on May 20th. <laughs> and I'm just looking at it right now on the, the latest stat as of 117 today, uh, we've been visited 185,231 times by 122,773 different villages from 174 countries. Almost every country in the world has now visited to the site at least once. Uh, wow. That's that's just still blowing my mind. I yeah, can't thank people enough for that. Isn't that amazing? Uh, just how the internet can connect us all. Um, yeah, and yeah. and people can find their interests and you know and just and just spread good cheer uh, through these things. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel internet destroyed collecting, but it it made new things. So. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it there there's good and bad of it for sure. Yeah. 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 People don't collect now; they acquire. I want this. <laughs> I click on here, and I got it next week by Amazon or whatever. You know. But, sure. But it's, the hunt is is not as uh, pr- prevalent as it used to be for the for the extra piece. Yeah, I, I'm thinking some of the things I've hunted for online um I, I i i think the longest thing it took me to find it was only a couple of minutes yeah <laughs> you yeah. know uh, it, it's just oh okay well there it is um and yeah uh so i i get it i get that thrill of the hunt um i think that's why my wife still likes to go to garage sales and stuff that sure you, you never know what you're gonna find here <laughs> yeah. um back in the the 80s and 90s uh, collecting, especially for Department 56, was really, really huge um, among the people that bought the buildings. Um, and one of the things that was out, uh, some people put out a thing called the Village Phone Book, and it listed every store. And there was hundreds and hundreds of stores around the country. Mm-hmm. And who had a display? Now? And my wife and I would take uh, a weekend and just go here or go there. We'd take the booklet and see how many different uh, the stores we could go to and check out the displays and uh, sometimes looking a, a year or two to find a specific building that I wanted. Or whatever. Uh, all that is, is gone now. It's just, there's hardly any stores that sell them anymore. I mean, you can find them here or there, but the big displays in the stores are down such a small part of what they used to be. It's just now the big mm-hmm. vacation areas. Uh, yeah. So it's changed everything. It really has. Yeah. Some for the better, some for the worse. All right. Uh, well, again, folks, uh, this check out the village, the village collector.com. Uh, there's always something new over there and, and something very Christmassy. If you need a, a little Christmas pick me up this summer, this spring, uh, I'd encourage you to go over there and, and check out his work. So, Bill, thank you. Thank you so much for, for coming on again. Thank you. Anna. I appreciate it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas <laughs> and uh, happy anniversary, too, for your website. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. You bet. All right. Thanks, Bill. And if you are a village collector, please check out his website. It, it's it's a great, great website. And I know he would love to hear from you and, and see the videos that uh, are pictures of your setup. So I don't know if you are the kind that will go into great detail and planning every little part of your village, or do you just put out a couple of buildings with a light and hope for the best? Whichever kind you are, I know you will find some great enjoyment there. I want to thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'll be back in a, in a couple of weeks as we round out the month of May. I'll be talking about uh, the book Christmas, a biography by Judith Flanders, as well as bringing you another Christmas story. If uh, you'd like to help support the show, you can go to ko-fi.com. That's ko-fi.com backslash cozy Christmas. And uh, for the price of a cup of coffee, you can help support the show. It's a $3 donation, and I'll send you a sticker and a card to thank you for your donation. Also, if you want a a sticker or card, you can help the show out in a free way by either going to the the Apple Podcasts and leaving me a review. Let me know that you've done that, and I'll send you out a podcast sticker and card as well. And you can reach me at CozyChristmasPodcast at gmail.com. And also, 
You can get a sticker by sending me your favorite Christmas memory, a favorite Christmas tradition. Send me something Christmas related and I'll uh, send that out to you. So those are a couple ways you can help support our show. Also make sure you stop by thevillagecollector.com and tell Bill happy anniversary this week. Four years online spreading the good cheer of Christmas villages and creating a wonderful Christmas village community. So let's spread that Christmas cheer and keep Christmas in our hearts all the year long. So until next time, be kind to each other and do good. And remember that there is nothing in the world more irresistibly contagious than laughter and good humor. Have a very Merry Christmas.